Hello everyone, I am Benjamin Liebtrot, an undergrad with the Laboratory for Nano-Integrated Systems here at the University of Utah. In this tutorial, I provide motivation for generating the user-defined template Verilog file, and I go through a generated user-defined template file to demonstrate how to use it. The user-defined template file is used during the architecture modeling process to customize basic logic elements, like those elements in the dash red box, and contains user-defined Verilog modules that are found in the OpenFPGA cell library with ports declarations, compatible with other netlists that are auto-generated by OpenFPGA, but without any functionality. When used, this file is a reference for engineers to check the port sequence required by top-level Verilog netlists, and can be included in simulation only if there are modifications to the file. This video expands on our beginner architecture modeling videos by introducing a way to customize and ensure our user-defined circuit models work with OpenFPGA's auto-generated netlists. Viewers should already be familiar with creating and binding basic circuit models, as well as fabric netlist generation. By the end of this tutorial, we will know how to use user-defined template with OpenFPGA architectures. We will achieve this by first naively modifying an ADF circuit model. The naive modification will create a bug. Fixing the bug will allow user-defined template to be generated. Once user-defined template has been generated, we will implement our custom ADF Verilog module in user-defined template. Finally, we will incorporate user-defined template into our architecture file and verify it was added correctly. Before we begin, make sure to have the most recent version of OpenFPGA and Python 3.8 or later. To learn about updating OpenFPGA, please see our tutorial on how to install OpenFPGA. Code used during this tutorial can be found on our documentation page under Integrating Custom Verilog Modules with User-Defined Template. For this example, I am modifying the architecture used in the hard adder task that comes with OpenFPGA. To follow along, enter the following command at the root directory of OpenFPGA to open the architecture file. Go to the addf circuit model that currently starts at line 187 of the architecture file. And replace it with the following code. The major change here is the removal of the Verilog netlist path. For this tutorial, we are interested in creating our own ADF Verilog module for the hard adder task. We have almost completed the circuit model for ADF, but have not included a path to the Verilog netlist. If we forget to include the netlist, we will see this when running the task. This failure occurred during the verification step with iVerilog because we have removed the path to the ADF module definition of the hard adder. In our architecture file, user-defined Verilog modules are those circuit models with the key term Verilog netlist. User-defined template provides a module template for incorporating hard IPs with no external library into the architecture. To generate the user-defined template file, we need to provide a Verilog netlist for ADF. The ADF circuit model requires a Verilog netlist because it is of the type hard logic. For now, we will use the OpenFPGA adder Verilog netlist. Open the architecture file. Go to the ADF circuit model and place the following into Verilog netlist. We can now rerun the task to generate the user-defined template file. When the command has been executed, the user-defined template file can be found within the sub-module directory. To view user-defined template, run the following command at the root of OpenFPGA. We can now provide our own implementation details for the ADF Verilog module. For this example, I am deleting all other modules from this file because there cannot be duplicate definitions of modules. Once ADF is the only module within user-defined template, we assign the following values to the output ports. Now, User-defined template can be linked into the architecture file and the script can be run again. Once more, open the architecture file with the following command. 
go back to the ADF circuit model and put the path to user-defined template into Verilog Netlist. Please note, you will need to select the run that has the modified user-defined template file. For me, this is run 92. We can verify our ADF was successfully added by running the hard adder task again. If the error did not show up, we successfully added user-defined template to the architecture. In this tutorial, we have shown how to generate the user-defined template file and how to use the user-defined template file to create our own implementations for these modules. If you have any issues with the user-defined template, feel free to contact us on the OpenFPGA GitHub or documentation page. Thank you for your time.